I wanted to make this video to show you if you've used the Easy One Air uh, spirometer in the field and you've got some results and you'd like to download them. Uh, this is the Easy One Connect software. I'm going to turn on the Easy One Air and put it in the main home screen. So if I've been in the field and I've added people into the database on the Easy One Air or I've done some tests, all those tests are on the unit. I just put it into the cradle and you can see now it's synchronizing. So any tests or names or anything that's been added would be added at this point. So I can go into the patients. So say if I did a test on myself. Now I see myself at the top here, but I could go in and search by last name, first name, or ID. And it is important that uh, you have a different ID number for everyone. It's probably the easiest way to do it. So if I select this and I go into the history, here's all my tests. Now these are just messing around with baselines, but you would have a baseline and then other tests to go along with it. Um, if I wanted to say if this was the test I wanted to look at, I would double click it. You can see here that uh, as soon as I put the unit on the dock, the indication here, the unit shows at this point so that it's docked. Um, you see that I did four trials, but uh, trial number one, there was an issue. This is kind of neat. This is a new option. If I click on it, it actually gives me a reason or some explanation of what the problem was and a possible solution. So that's kind of neat. Um, so if this is the result I want it printed, I would just go over to, well, I could go to the report first here. So this will generate. And there is different formats that could be in. This is just the format I've chosen. But uh, yeah, this can be printed or it actually can be um, exported as a, or export as a PDF. There's lots of other options here as well for that. So that's the easiest way for taking that back the easy one air spirometer, popping it on the cradle, it synchronizes and then your data goes into the uh, into the database and you're able to print from there.